everybody, it's Elle or Ariel back for another bump date for everybody. So I am officially 17 weeks pregnant right now, which means I'm going to be doing my 16 week bump date and let you guys know how week 16 has been for me. So as you can tell by my lovely attire, I'm actually in scrubs, my hair is up, I got no makeup on, like I am literally going out the door very soon for work, but I just wanted to jump on real quick and let you guys know what's been going on with us so that I'm not super late like I was last week so so this week I had a midwife appointment so I I'm seeing her every four weeks so I saw her at 12 weeks and now I saw her again at 16 weeks the baby is doing awesome I think the heartbeat was around 145 so and we are not finding out the baby's gender I don't know if I mentioned that before so we're not finding out the baby's gender so I'm always curious to hear what you guys think for having a boy or girl and I know some people say like if the heart rates a certain thing then boy or girl I don't know <laughs> I I've thought the whole time it could be a boy but other people think it's a girl so we'll just have to see um, so anyways I had my midwife appointment and I asked her about the Parladel, the bromocryptine that I've been on since like a couple months before I was even pregnant and asked her her opinion because I don't know if I mentioned but the ultrasound tech at MGH when we had our seven week ultrasound said oh you can probably stop taking that or no it was the tech it was the doctor that was there um, but I felt very skeptical about it so I continued to take it so I asked her about it at my last midwife appointment at 12 weeks and she said she talked to a couple OBGYNs and they all thought it was actually really good for me to continue taking it until I'm 28 weeks pregnant. So that is the plan right now. I'm taking a half a pill, which is 1.25 milligrams every single day until I'm 28 weeks pregnant and then I'm good to go. And we're trying to decrease the risk of things like miscarriage and that kind of stuff because my prolactin levels were high. If you're curious about that kind of stuff, there are links down below all about my journey and my high prolactin levels and all of that good stuff. So the other big thing that's been happening, I haven't had any new major symptoms going on this week in particular, but I have definitely noticed like the taste of mint is making me gag, which is totally random. I think it's because at the beginning of pregnancy, my heartburn was so bad and like the Tums I was taking were peppermint and so I equate like peppermint to like, I don't know, just bad things in general. So um, the obviously the toothpaste I was using is mint and it was making me gag every time I brushed my teeth, which was horrible. So I did some research and I actually wound up buying Xylolite, which is a great toothpaste anyways. It's like kind of an all natural SLS free toothpaste. It does have fluoride in it, but it also has xylitol, which is really good for your teeth. And that is cinnamon flavored. So I tried that and hallelujah, I am not gagging when I'm brushing my teeth anymore. So that is awesome. Uh, but other than that, there haven't been any other major symptoms going on. I'm definitely noticing that I am more hungry and there have literally been times when I'm sleeping during the day that I'll wake up after three hours and I'm hungry. So I go and like get myself a cheese stick or some other kind of like easy snack like that and have like a little snack if I wake up hungry. So that's been funny. I need to like figure out meals to do before I go to bed that won't do that. Um, so, so like I was saying, definitely no like huge new symptoms this week that have been going on for me, just kind of enjoying the cool weather, still loving my giant fluffy winter coat. Uh, things have been going well. And yeah, other than that, just cruising along, again, feeling more and more pregnant every day. And yeah, that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.